Pope Benedict's personal butler, Paolo Gabrielli, always seated up front on the Pope Mobile. But today he was arrested after Vatican police found hundreds of confidential documents in his house. The butler, in charge of serving meals and managing the Pope's private apartment, allegedly leaked those documents to the media, including investigative reporter Gianluigi Nuzzi, whose new book uncovers a web of Vatican corruption and cronyism. Some small wheels in the big Vatican machine decided, rightly or wrongly, to make public important events, like palace plots, he said. The Vatican confirmed today that indeed the butler was arrested and called Nuzzi's book and the leaks criminal. It's launched its own investigation. Among the incriminating documents, letters to the Pope from Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, revealing a small network of construction companies awarded Vatican contracts at inflated prices. But the whistleblower was punished and, against his wishes, packed off to the U.S., where he's now the Vatican ambassador in Washington. Other leaked documents revealed Vatican infighting over financial transparency. On Thursday, Ettore Gatti Tedeschi was fired as the Vatican Bank's president. Gatti Tedeschi has said himself that he was ousted because uh, he was the one who wanted transparency. It's unclear if the Pope's butler acted alone or was taking orders, but the alleged leaks by the man closest to the Pope may have lifted another veil on the secretive and perhaps illegal activity inside the Vatican itself. Jim Masada, NBC News, London.